Um, first of all, I would like to thank to you and World Leisure Organization uh, that because of in, uh, the for invitation. Uh, the, because the nowadays the, everybody is very busy and the, some people cannot have what, enough time to solve their problems, etc. But in my opinion, uh, the, we, we should we the support, support each other. Thank you so much because of this. I am working at Hacettepe University at uh, Faculty of Sports Sciences uh, in Ankara, Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, for a long time, but the, I have been uh, the working uh, for Hacettepe University more than 30 years. Uh, nowadays, uh, the, my, uh, the, I am studying on um, between physical activity included outdoor adventure activities. I am a mountaineer, I'm a climber, but the mostly I am interested in these activities related to recreation. Recreation, yeah. But I thank you, uh, Yaroslav, also Miklos, the, I organized the Olympic climbing and the day uh, joined us so that I hope after pandemic situation, I can invite all of you. And also for a long time, the, uh, I studied about the risk perception of outdoor adventure activities. But today I would like to share with you uh, relationship between physical activity and brain functions but also academic performance, academic achievement. The, these days, this topic is very popular, especially among neurologists, educational scientists, but also some sports scientists. Uh, that is enough, what I think, for introduction. What can I share my slide? So that is it possible, right? Yes, go ahead. And okay, can you see it? Yes. Ah, thank you so much. But I am I'm sure but the, all of you would know what the all countries in the world, but but it, this is Turkish location. This is Turkey with the among three countries. I will share with you uh, today this title, how does physical activity, uh, sorry, oh my, probably I make a mistake, so sorry about this. How does physical activity affect cognitive functions, academic performance and attitude, positive attitude. First, this is my presentation flow, human body, what can I, oh. Uh, the history of human body, development and change of mankind from biology to culture and some will be some future implication. You know Socrates, said the, he said that I cannot teach anybody anything, I can only make them think, okay? And then I can share this slide with you, but I am so sorry, but I can organize my slide presentation. Um, why? Oh, that there is some mistakes. Sorry. Okay, I try again. Okay. One minute, please. Okay. But you can go like this. It's no problem. We can no see. Problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. 
right now, I hope. Okay. And what is Socrates says that the, the unexamined life is not worth living. This is directly related to our life, our relationship with nature. Also, he said, I know is that I know nothing. Like this, I am learning every time what is from everybody. First of all, I have to share with you story of human body. First stage is stands on two legs, fruits and the others, gather hunter, and then gather and hunter activities, developed greater brain, evolution of body and gritting brain is Relation has a good relationship and human created culture like language, also cooperation, and created agriculture, then industry, nowadays digitalization. Lieberman from Harvard University asked this question How will the human body be in the future? This question is related to technology also nature. This is our story. You can say to everybody these phrases. Don't buy excess weight, be moving. Present time eating and moving is culture. Because of this, we spend time many, many times at the four dinner, for example, especially in Europe. This is right? I'm not sure. Mankind has evolved to move more children in various and difficult conditions. I asked a question in front of, at the beginning of this presentation. We burned with the for walking and running uh, this, uh, well, the answer of this question is very important. As hunter and collector, we have evolved to survive and breed, and this is also critic synthesis. The future of your body depends on how you use it. This is our history, but right now I am interested in human being, but you can see it. And also, this is our history according to evolutionary theory. This is hominid evolution. Major homo advance are more important, really, because we developed in history, mouth development, brain size, bipedalism, and critics developing is bipedalism because bipedalism encouraged and developed hunting. And then we created fire, we found fire, created tools, created wheel shelters, clothing, and then language. And there is a three minutes video. That's enough for the next stage. This night. video is produced by BBC with the normal seven minutes. Please pay attention this is the to this to video. video. This video summarizes all human activities related to cognitive That's domain development, effective development, also physical psychomotor development. And then we can ask this question. Where we burn to move, walk, run? Please watch this and then we talk about this video or at the end of the presentation we can talk. Now a test of endurance. Who will collapse first, the man or the animal? This was how men hunted for 
or they had weapons, when a hunter had nothing more than his own physical endurance with which to gain his prize. Running on two feet is more efficient over long distances than running on four. A man sweats from yes, glands all over his body and so cools himself. A kudu sweats much less and has to find shade if it's to cool down. We learned all this at the university classes. And a man has and hands with which to carry water, so fish. during the chase he can replenish the liquid he loses as sweat. And we can say that, that all these kind of activities supported brain development. And also our effective characteristics Ours and, and social characteristics. But then the kudu runs into thick cover. Tracks have disappeared. Karoe tries to put himself into the mind of the Kudu and himself reenacts the moment when it heard him approaching as it tried to rest in the shade. He deduces the direction in which it must have fled. It's close by. That's enough. That's enough. That's... Yeah. And then I can say that with the uh, habitual bipedal locomotion, what the, I mean, movement on two legs, an upright position, and a large brain that has led to Thule's language and culture characterized by the hominids. You can see and you can discuss about these pictures because related to our brain developments. Also, we can say that we have two fundamental factors of human development. The first one is biological, and second one is environment, natural environment and social environment, and human beings but it creates culture from these interactions. We cannot change our genetic heritage, at least nowadays, but we can change our culture because the culture created by human beings. And according to paleontologists, we <clears throat> can have this reality. But in the planet consists of only two words. We move, we be moved, and we will move in future. Many in literature can say exercise is very important for us and our academic performance. Exercise is good for the brain, which is told to us by wandering in forest areas, for example, that a three million year ago from these, aerobics is even better, we know. According to Richland and Alexander, there is a great deal of evidence suggesting that especially aerobic exercise became an increased important element of human lifestyles beginning approximately 1.8 
million years ago. Because of this, we should contact between physical activities and brain functions. In every field of the culture, human beings create culture. We are with our bodies in the article, in the pictures. Because of this, we can say education begins as physical education because physical education also accompanies all other education. Why physical activity? Uh, we can say this question, but because living creatures move, human are living entities and moving movement is culture. According to Grossen, Grossen is from Australia. He's a good moon, movement educator. He said that humans create cultures, movement and physical education are ways for the body culture. Because of this, we tell, or we say physical activity, exercise, sport, human activities, uh, related to physics, etc. We know, but there are many literature about human movement. For example, the sport linked to human movement is a point in common. Because of this explanation, we can say that a regular physical activity has an important role. This is our educational domains psychomotor, physical domain, cognitive domain, effective domain, and physical activities support our raising academic performance, also developing our cognitive functions, according to many writers, many scientists. And then I can say that it is considered that physical activity has positive influence on our mental health and brain development, as well as physical health. We can know many things whether about our physical health, but also psychological health, but there is not enough literature uh, but about our academic performance and brain functions related to physical activity. For example, about this, Tom Prosky at all from University of Georgia, USA, uh, said that it, it was believed in ancient Greece that physical activity fed in intellectual skills, but you can see with the many articles about this. And also, according to many scientists, the issue of the relation between physical activity and cognitive functions and academic achievement. Uh, the pay, you can pay attention to these slides, uh, the, for example, uh, they said that probably this uh, study but it was done uh, by Hillman from the United States, but the active kids learn better. But the English example, but it also standardized test scores, but it also physical activity level, but it also maths. These are really another study results. I, for example, according to Lees and Hopkins, the connection between cognitive functions and physical activity is highly complex. There is no prescriptions, but there is very strong relationship. This issue of how physical activity influences cognitive functions has not been clearly explained, explained because of this they says, say, and because that we have not enough study results and we should do this. But also Ericsson says like this kind of uh, explanations, whether also according to Adland, according to Berenberg et al, Hillman, Wazo, Han, they said that a significant correlation between physical fitness and academic achievement. I mean, there are many studies about this, but also Sanchez and Lopez at all said that, but this study results uh, but they are very interesting. They said that this study shows that a one school year multi-component intervention consisting of a recreational non-competitive physical activity program 
you can interest these results. Educational materials for parents and teachers and school playground modifications improve the cognition of first grade children. But also according to Graf et al, positive effect were found for physical activity on executive functions, executive functions in our prefrontal lobe related to also problem solving, creativity, critical thinking, attention and academic performance in, in pre-adolescent children. Largest effects are expected for interventions that aim for continuous regular physical activity over several weeks. But also, you can see our some study results. Our studies, but they are but they related to physical activity and academic achievement and done with uh, university students, also middle school students. So that for example, in a study conducted on Faculty of Medicine students in Hacettepe University, it was observed that the academic average performance grades of students were reported to be higher than who, those who didn't do any sports. But I mean regular physical activity, not sometimes, not one, one hour in a week, not two hours in a week, but they mean regular physical activity. Also, there are meta-analytic um, articles, but the many meta-analytic -analy articles, but the results of these articles said that, for example, this slide is related to academic achievement in 55 observational studies conducted, positive results were 31. There were two negative and two neutral results of 23 empirical studies, for example. This is very important. Also, cognition study results. In 11 of 15 observational studies were positive results, but they also 27 of 31 empirical studies were positive results. What a nice, what a good, important results. There are also oh, many results that are probably I spent 27 minutes, right? Oh, almost, I have uh, 10, 12 minutes. Okay, but it, enough for me. According to Igor, this is quite new study results, sorry. The inclusion of cognitively engaged physical activity breaks. For example, you are a math teacher and 40 minutes um, at a class time that you have, for example, at a 20 minutes after, you can have a break for three or four or five minutes maximum. And you can give some physical activities to the children, for example, in elementary school. This study is related to this kind of uh, activities, this kind of um, situation in the classroom. The inclusion of cognitively engaged physical activity breaks seems to be a promising way to enhance school children's cognitive functions. But also, whether well, there's a hope for brain break, so that there are well, there's some study results so they related to this philosophy, this approaches. Uh, for example, physics activity program contributes to better self-efficacy, for example, on learning while using video exercise of primary school in children, but in school. This is also physical activity breaks. And I would like to share uh, this study done Petten and Baden. This study uh, they focused on the effects of physical activity on concentration and focus prior to academic lessons in urban Montessori classroom. You know, Montessori classroom uh, developed by, I, I don't remember his name, but from Italy, uh, as far as I remember, classroom ages from three 
to 12 movement interventions improved focus and concentration by an average of seven, uh, 27 percentage. The data collected supported our hypothesis that they said proposal for movement activities increase executive functions, skill development. As a result, we can say that physical activity does not have negative effect on the academic performance of children and brain functions. But you can share these ideas, but these results so that with parents, also policymakers, also school managers. And physical activity has little or natural, natural effects on the brain functions of children. But so that the answer to the questions that have been asked to find the relationship between exercise and cognitive characteristics of children have not been answered yet. We need some studies. After this, I would like to share with you some study results about positive attitude. According to the results of the study conducted by Koja Demirhan, and by me, Uri Hunik, also Demirhan. One of them is, uh, was my doctoral student, so the second one is the master. This is study results. Um, the attitude points of the children who do sports regularly for physical education and sports are higher than those of the other children. Positive attitude is very, uh, uh, very important uh, for the children, also for us, uh, because but if you have positive, uh, if you have a positive attitude to the towards to the anything, any events, any activities, you can do these or this regularly. Also, according to the results of the study conducted by Tomic from Poland, the attitude points of the children who are members of sports club for physical education and sports are higher than those of the other children. Pay attention to whether this uh, the picture, but this chart is a positive relation with the cow. We can understand the really and his attitude or her attitude, but the probably he, for it is positive. Uh, and then we can say that the positivity is reciprocal. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, this is correct. Because it, uh, sorry, what he or she, so sorry, I made a mistake, practices and covers the needs. And more important than this, it forms the future. This is life process. Because of this, and the physical activity in nature, are the more important or outdoors, are the more important than indoor activities. This is my opinion. I tell this according to some study results. I have probably five or six slides. I can share with this some information related to human biology, but also some technological Results. We have some projects, projects, not project, but the for future. One of them is effect of physical activity on some cognitive functions and academic achievement. We are studying at the wit at the middle school children because at this age the more important related to physical activity than elementary school and at the high school uh, children at a student's age. Another one is determination of genomic elements determining exercise physiology responses by drosophila based model organized approach. Uh, this is animal study, but at the drosophila brain and to the human brain is almost similar. Please pay attention to 
but the right brain moment that this uh, I <clears throat> I took from nature and scientists have produced a 3D image of a fruit flies. Fruit flies is Drosophila. We are studying with neurologists and biologists. They are interested in genetics mostly and fruit flies bring that so detail. Researchers can trace connection between neurons across the entire organ. But we are interested in neurons, but it's their neurons. But also left sides, Drosophila melanogaster. They said, especially biologists said, small brain and big value. And where are we going? I don't know whether you can have what is some comments, but especially we can use uh, for the table or the during the day, but really in an office, we cannot, uh, we don't have in our physical activity. Probably we want to back to basic. I don't know. But also, this is also very short video. Where are we going? Are the probably in future, whether we want to hear, we can sit with them in the class together. Or we can have a friend to have physical activity indoor or outdoor. But this is that we are human beings, which is a little bit out of the box. But it can be reality in future, in a short time. Not a long time, really. Right now, uh, he or she, he is, or what she is, not what he has, not enough physical activity and not enough uh, the brain functions uh, because they don't have, but they biologically, uh, but they don't have biologically for the brain, but uh, they probably in 20 years, 25 years, they can have, really. And, we can ask this question again. Where are we going? Robots can ski, can play football, also can ride, but they can run. We can run. Or the many three million years ago, or the, for example, in a day, at the probably only one, half an hour or one hour. We were running, but nowadays we can do this much more. I would like to put a talk about the technology related to physical activity. And for example, at Gunnell et al. said that results um, physical activity incorporated into school settings or elsewhere is unlikely to negatively impact brain health and outcomes related to academic achievement and intelligence test scores and may even be beneficial. Also, according to many scientists, results from our review support and extend to conclusion. Thank you so much for your attention.